everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a get ready with me inspired by Jeffree Star's new cremated palette collection, which I did not purchase. And I have all of Jeffree's palettes except for that and the Shane Dawson collaboration. Um, I understand it sold out in 20 minutes. I was just concerned that the looks would be all the same. And um, there were so many shades of white and I thought the gray was I pretty. the artwork was beautiful $58 I didn't want to spend right now and um, And I know the release and everything that's going on and I know Jeffrey didn't do anything intentional with offending anybody um, I just you know think he could have called it something else but um, I've never heard him say cremated. I always hear him say, I'm shook, I'm deceased, I can't relate. I've never heard him say I'm cremated. But anyways, that's Jeffrey, and I know he comes from a good place, so um, didn't do anything intentional. I hope it shows up in his Halloween mystery box maybe a year from now. I'd like to get it at some point, but just not right now. So anyways, inspired by the palette, uh, which I did think was beautiful, Lipstick Nick's artwork and all the, oh my gosh, the cover is just his prettiest ever. But anyways, I'm going to be using the original OG Grayscale palette, the Naked Smoky. Now, Naked Smoky, and you'll notice it also has the marble packaging, okay? And it's discontinued. So if you have that, I'm going to show you some other palettes that you could also use um, instead of that. And I just ordered ColourPop's, uh, what's it called now, Blowing Smoke palette for $12, which is a grayscale palette. It has whites, blacks. Uh, so go to ColourPop. They also have a matching mini trio of glitters that goes with that, which I ordered. So that's a nice alternative for $12 for the palette, $12 for the trio of glitters. For $24, you can get a grayscale palette uh, now. But anyways, I'm gonna use the Smoky palette from Urban Decay. And let me show you this. So here you have all of your smoke. And again, another Urban Decay palette that I do not know why it was discontinued. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous gray palette. It has the gray marble packaging and um yeah uh look it, at this marble cosmetic case and i know jeffrey's selling a, a black marble i think for 30 bucks this is so cute it's got a pink interior which he would love and a little mirror it's got silver handle the paper's still on it silver hardware this i got at tj maxx for only 12.99 and this is by the brand emotion i m o s i o n dot com so maybe you can go to their website and buy it and it's in the marble and this is perfect i thought i'd keep some of my jeffrey star items in it and it's so cute and such a deal but uh anyways let's get ah <laughs> uh, all the the yeah anyways okay let's get on with it so I don't have anything on my face. I just washed my face with a Bare Minerals cleanser that I got over at TJ Maxx. It's really good. It's a, I love it. The tinted uh, face botanical sunscreen with zinc and titanium dioxide. This is the original. It's just a tinted shade. It comes in three shades now. You can buy it at Ulta.com. Uh, some Ulta stores I think are opening now, but I always wear sunscreen every day. And this has a good amount of dimethicone, so it makes an excellent primer. It doesn't feel sunscreeny. It's not greasy. It's a perfect, perfect base to hold on your makeup. And I absolutely. Anyways, love it. okay. So today's foundation, I'm going to revisit my Tarte Shape Tape foundation, uh, the Double Duty Beauty. I'm in the shade Light Neutral. If I remember correctly, this stuff is thick as mud. Um, but it's great for hot weather matte foundation. Okay, so I did get my, uh, I always use the Real Technique sponge. I like it better than Beauty Blender. You can always find it at TJ Maxx or Ulta on sale. So it's got the big doe foot applicator, just like Shape Tape. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of just do one deal of it. 
get that blended in. But anyways, I'm happy for Jeffrey that his palette sold out in 20 minutes. I, you know, for a collection standpoint, I wanted to get it, but you know, I don't really, I like smoky looks and it's so funny that he came out with a smoky palette because if you've watched any of my recent videos, I was talking about how for some reason I've been getting into gray eyeshadow and at TJ Maxx I just picked up a gray uh, shade called Pyrenees um, that was on clearance. This is that uh, gray shade that I just picked up. And I also picked up over at TJ Maxx a Marc Jacobs Omega shadow in Dynamo. And I don't know, I guess I could feel it in the air or something. That's a nice gray shadow. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, and also over at TJ Maxx, the Marc Jacobs Stiletto Palette was just on sale. It was also on sale uh, at Sephora. And this is a really pretty uh, gray palette that you could do some looks with. So there are some really good gray. Um, and you can use Alien. There's your black. You've got some gorgeous grays and shimmer. And then you've got uh, some bones and some whites. The Pat McGrath Mothership One Palette is so pretty that is a cool palette and you've got you could do a smoky gray with that um you've got a nice gray a black a white so if you have this palette you could be doing some of that but there are some palettes and of course go check out color pops uh i should have blended this while it's hard this stuff dries so quick but uh, i'm using a damp beauty blender and uh, that's going to help me out Yeah, I'm going to hold off because I always like to buy Jeffrey's mystery boxes and because I have most of his stuff, uh, I had to not buy some things. So otherwise I'm buying mystery boxes of things I already have. Okay, so that's blended pretty well. I think I want a little dot under my eyes for concealer. And it's nice because it has the doe foot. That works so much better with a dampened beauty blender or Real Technique sponge. I'm gonna go in, uh, I think this might be discontinued. This is also Tarte. This is uh, the Confidence in a Compact uh, Foundation. I'm gonna use it as a setting powder. It's in my shade, the Light Neutral. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques Large Kabuki and just pressing that in. I feel like eyeshadow blends so much better when you have Hi Tiger! Foundation and powder. Oh, Tiger's fixing a photo bomb here. What are you doing, buddy? Today I'm going to, well, I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Caramel. Um, I really like it. Uh, I always usually use the ColourPop Bang & Brunette, but when I was on the ColourPop website today, I, it looks like they've discontinued it. And I do have one backup, but I was like so bummed. So I'm going into that with my little Tarte dual-ended spoolie uh, brow brush. This is just an old Tarte brush that I really like to do my brows. So I'm getting some of the caramel and just uh, fixing that I really like I was like oh my gosh if they've discontinued banging brunette uh, brow pomade I'm going to have to go back in and I do like this Sunday series what I'm trying to do is just use my collection and you know try to use different things and rediscover my collection now I know that Jeffrey was selling his weirdo black lipstick Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit, and this is a black shade that um, they have. It's always out around Halloween time, and I've got a big collection of these. I love them. They're the best five, six dollar liquid lipstick you can buy. Widow's Peak. Oh, that's funny. Widow's Peak is the shade, the shade name. So if you were trying to get weirdo with Jeffrey's collection, we're gonna use this. This is gonna be crazy because I'm, I'm getting ready to go to church. So I'm gonna have to take the black lipstick off before I go. <laughs> okay, so let's go into the Cheek Stars reunion tour today. Um, this is their latest cheek palette, face palette. I absolutely love it. Um, here it is. 
It's got uh, Georgia in it, Hula, Cookie, Sugar Bomb, and Dallas, which Dallas is a different color. Uh, I've got a, a video on comparing all of the Benefit Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad, Pink Squad palettes and this palette. So anyways, let's go into this. I'm going to go into Georgia, the peach. I'm using my Wayne Goss uh, cheek brush here. I like it. It's got... Um, It just stands up to product. You can use you can use this brush with cream products as well as powder products and it stands up. I love my Sonia G brushes. They're the softest brushes that I own, but they they don't stand up to a stiffer product. So I do think Wayne's brushes hold up better as far as that goes. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, and I'm gonna use my other Wayne Goss brush, another face brush. Um, I use these all the time. And I'm gonna get into some cookie highlighter. Little goes a long way on this. And that's pretty. I should have uh, brought out some Jeffree Star highlighter, but anyways. Okay, and now I'm going to go into Hula and just do a little contour. I love these palettes. I don't know how many there are. There's a blue one that came out a couple years ago that I don't have, and I was going to go and try to find it on eBay but um, it looked like I had all the shades already, so I didn't. A little bit of contour. Again, this is another Tarte brush. I like it because it's an angled, stiff brush. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. All right. So, let me just uh, curl my lashes a little bit, and uh, we'll get into the eyeshadow. Yeah, I don't know why Urban... Well, you know, Urban Decay has changed since they sold to L'Oreal, and I think basically that kind of killed the brand for me. I mean... <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I bought, well, the lo-fi lip mousses. Do y'all remember those? Um, I didn't really care for it. I've got a couple of them. I think that was the last Urban Decay. I still buy the 24-7 colored eyeliners uh, when they go on sale. Um, I love those. And uh, I did buy the Born to Run palette, and I did like that. But, I mean, Urban Decay used to be it for me. And, um, not anymore. So sad. It seems like everything, like Tarte, you know, Tarte was great. And then Maureen sold the company. And now, I can't tell you the last time I bought anything Tarte. Probably Shape Tape or that foundation there. Um, and, yeah, it just doesn't interest me anymore. Moved on. Okay, so the lashes are curled. Let's get into some eyeshadow. This is so pretty. Again, and you can probably find this off of eBay if you want. I haven't pulled the plastic off the mirror because I never use those mirrors, but this is the Naked Smoky palette. Before that, they had the Naked Smoked palette, if you remember that. Uh, again, I've got my Urban Decay video of all my Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. Using uh, some Wayne Goss and some Sonia G brushes. I'm just going to start out with this white... I would like to see the Pomeranian palette that people are talking about with neutral shades of brown. That would be fun. I'd still like to see Blood Money, uh, all green palette. That would be pretty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. He's, he also said that he has um, a full slate of things for the rest of the year. And I thought, well, he's got a bunch, you know, his summer collection. 
I'm wondering what his summer collection is going to be. So I thought, well, I'm just going to pass on this and then I'll pick up whatever he comes out with for summer because I'm sure I'll like it. I got a little bit of white there on my brow, so I just want to brush that up. Okay, so I'm going to got the base down. I'm going to go into this gray shade right here, the fourth one over, and uh, another Wayne Goss brush, and uh, a lot of pigment. Yeah, I gotta hold off so there'll be something in the mystery boxes. You know, I don't, that was the thing, I'm buying the mystery boxes and I'm getting blue blood and you know, now I've got four of them and I'm getting, you know, I keep getting things I already have. Now I've got a couple thirsties and a couple aliens and which is fine, I love alien. I'm not mad at having extra and I like thirsty too. That's one of my favorite summer palettes. So I do like that. Pretty though. Okay. Um. Let's go into this shade right here. This gray right here. I'm going to go in there and uh, deepen up the crease a little bit. All the shade names are on that smoky palette, so I'm just going to carefully place that. Okay, everybody dig out their naked Smokies. You already have the cremated palette and didn't even remember. That's pretty. I'm just gonna go underneath with what's left on this. Connect that together. Give it a little smudgy. You don't want it to be too gray anyways. Looking good. A little bit of a blend. Another Wayne Goss brush. Uh, Wayne Goss brushes are absolutely. And one thing I like about the Wayne Goss brush too is that they're mostly white. Um, so you can see how much uh, pigment you're picking up. Sonia G's brushes, a lot of them are uh, brown. Um, and you can't really see the product on your brush. So I do like the white, the white goat hair brushes. So you can see, you know, how much you've picked up. I want to get a shimmer shade. This fourth shade over is a gray silver sparkle shade. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to put it on the lid. Oh, wow. So pretty. Just make sure to get it blended. That is so pretty the other eye actually I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way into the corner for this for the shimmer and I'm gonna do a second layer to really amplify the oh wow that's pretty Oh, I love it. That is really looking good. Okay. Um, that's looking so good, I'm going to pack on some more. And really intensify that metallic. All right, before I do, and I'm gonna do some lashes and liners. Let me uh, put on my glasses and just tell you what shades I've okay, used. Okay, so I started out a base that's 13 on the end. And then the gray, the fourth one over is called Password. And then the darker gray that I went in to deepen up right here is called Dagger. There is a very fine, uh, shimmer in that but it's mostly matte and then right now on my lid I'm using armor okay and then I'm gonna go back into black market the black and use that as a liner okay 
So I have, this is really funny. I pulled out some old school. This brush is one of my original, I was a cosmetology student at Santa Monica College back in, I don't know, 2000, like 20 years ago. And this is one of the original, I only had like four or five brushes. This brand is called Brandon. This is one of my original Brandon brushes. It is 100% sable. And I've only got like three brushes, but this is my eyeliner brush that is like from freaking 20 years ago. It's so crazy. 100% sable. And I absolutely love it for a liner brush. Okay, so I'm going to dip into Black Market. And I don't know if I can do this. I kind of like to... Oh, God, that is so pretty. I like to use black eyeshadow as a liner because it's more forgiving and it's easier to do. Actually, I'm going to have to put the mirror down and just do it. Oh gosh, I can't do it without a mirror. Okay. Let me just try because I have to, to wing it out a little bit. Wow, this look is really looking pretty. Well, I can say with confidence that anybody who did buy the cremated palette is gonna love it. And now, after doing this look, I kinda want it too, but I guess I don't need it because this will be my... cremated palette. I'll just use my Urban Decay Smoky. That's what's so great is rediscovering your collection. You're like, wow, because uh, I wasn't even thinking about Smoky. If I had thought about Smoky, I wouldn't have ColourPop blowing smoke. It used to be called, what was it called before? S something Smoke, but now it's called Blowing Smoke. I don't know why they renamed it. The name that it had was fine. Unless they change the colors. Wow, that looks cool. Woo! No, I love it. It's pretty. It's very, very pretty, actually. I'm, I'm loving this. Okay, let me get on my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. <laughs> I, gotta, I can't believe I'm going to put on black lipstick, but okay, I'll do it. Just for the sake of... Uh, what we're doing here. Wow, I am loving this look. Oh my God. I should have popped on some uh, Huda Beauty lashes. Her Scarlet lashes are some of my favorite false eyelashes and it would be very very dramatic wow I don't know if I want to put black lipstick on well I'll do it This is so glamorous and so smoky and so beautiful. Wow, whoever gets that palette's gonna love it. Now I'm jealous. Well, I'll get it in a box. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna spend $58 when I have Naked Smoky because this is spectacularly gorgeous as well. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself five million times, as I tend to do. That's it. Uh, it, it doesn't get any better than that. The only thing that I could do, which I'm not gonna do, but I could do, is add some extra sparkle with my Inglot AMC Pure Pigments. I have two that would work great. 
Um, this one is number 49, and it is a perfect gunmetal sparkle, um, which I always, you can amplify any look with some Inglot pigments, but I'm very happy with the way this turned out, so I'm going to leave it alone. And I have one other one if I can move my kitten. Okay, excuse me, tiger. Um, this is a silver which is really good. Uh, you can buy this off of the Inglot USA website or Beautylish. This is number 23, AMC Pure Pigment, and this is a silver. So, um, but I did just order the ColourPop palette and the three mini glitters, and I knew I didn't need them, but I forgot about Naked Smokey, and it's too late, I placed the order, I can't cancel it now, but that's okay. All right, now let's just go ahead and put on the black lips. You can, you know, maybe get this off of eBay, or uh, they might still sell it year round, I don't know if they do. I bought this particular shade at Halloween, so this again is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. I absolutely, if you're looking for a cheap liquid lipstick, that you can buy at Walmart for five or six bucks, or uh, I definitely, that is my number one favorite. So, okay, let's go for it. Definitely black. not gray need some more oh she's coming together So if you're looking for a dupe for Jeffree Star's Weirdo, Get your Adams Family uh, goth fantasies on. Did y'all see my Adams Family pinball machine? What do you think about that? Not bad. I like this this doe foot applicator. See how it's pointed? You can really... I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Okay, so that was a fun little uh, Sunday get ready with me, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, y'all. That's it. Okay, so my name's Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Let me know what you think about my uh, Jeffree Star cremated look. Um, using Urban Decay's Naked Smoky and some Wet n Wild and um, <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh my gosh. This was really fun. Well, you got to give that to Jeffrey. He is different. Okay. He's totally different and very unique and very creative and um, I'm loving it. I'm loving my goth look. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, so check out my playlist for more Get Ready With Me. I'm trying to do a different eyeshadow palette and a different makeup every Sunday. And um, I've got a whole running series of my TJ Maxx hauls and my TJ Maxx finds and uh, my collection videos. 
And um, that's going to do it for this one. So happy Memorial Day weekend, y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Jackie. I just got back from church. Of course, after changing my lip color, this is my Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy Liquid Lipstick, $18. You can get it at dosecolors.com or off the Ulta website. Uh, much more wearable shade with this smoky look. I forgot to mention, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Most people have this palette, so if you're waiting for Jeffrey's palette or you wanna skip Jeffrey's palette, I highly recommend this for a grayscale look. You have, of course, your black over here. You've got a really nice matte gray right here. You've got a really nice bone colored white. And then you have a silver sparkly shimmer. So um, this is a great palette that you can use um, in lieu of the Jeffree Star cremated palette. So, um, <laughs> I forgot to mention it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a great week.